Now, those of you who uh, watch my quick plays may question why I'm going through so many Sega Master System games this week. Well, it will become evident in a few weeks' time when I produce a recollection uh, program which focuses on Sega systems. However, in the meantime, this is Streets of Rage 2 for the Master System. Uh, the lesser known variant of the famous Mega Drive version, which was released in 1992 on the Mega Drive and Genesis, uh, around the same time that the box art changed on the Mega Drives to, instead of the checkered squares, to the, the blue star with Mega Drive written down the side. This was released on the Master System in 1993, and like a lot of Master System games, it misses some things out. Although it's, it's fairly complete. It's fairly complete. But... Ah, oh, I, I, I like playing as Blades. Why have I got Axel? Oh well. Uh, as you can see, the, the graphics for sprites are a lot smaller. Oh, and he's, look at him striding. <laughs> look at that stride! It's like Freddie Mercury or something. Amazing. Uh... Yeah, and it's one player only, which is unfortunate. That happens to a lot of Master System ports from the Mega Drive. They just lose their two-player functionality. It happens with Bonanza Brothers, which I did a quick play on earlier in the week. And I'm sure it happens with many more. I can't even consider thinking... Oh, Sonic 2. There's another one for you. The, Mega the Master System just can't handle all the extra on-screen stuff. And apparently the two-player mode is the easiest to omit. So, it's disappointing that the sprites are so small. I it, I think I, on Streets of Rage, the first conversion, Streets of Rage 1, on the Master System, the sprites are quite big, almost as big as the Mega Drive. This is obviously not quite as good a port. And we've got some uh, sprite flicker here, which uh, is common on the Nintendo system, Nintendo Entertainment System, but, you know, it doesn't happen that often on the Master System. The Master System does have a bit more oomph behind it than the NES, both in uh, processing and colour. Stakes and all, you know, all that malarkey. These punks, these punks are tough as nails on this version, what's going on? They are not hard, this hard on the market, they're quick, look how quick they are, like nimble little, whoa, little ninjas. My god. Uh, the music on this one is, I think it's by the same guy who did the Mega Drive music, but because it's PY sound, oh, it can get a bit irritating. The Master System, or the Mark III as it's known in Japan, has an FM chip, and a lot of games actually have FM music, which makes them far more appetizing to listen to. But still, hey, I love it. I love the Master System. Who doesn't? Probably a lot of people. But I will always love it. Oh, this is quite good. I quite like this game. Good definition of sprites, good distinction between the background and the foreground. I can see the headband on Axel's face, it's always good. And I can see his flowing blonde locks, which look lovely, Axel. It's good you could keep your hair in such good condition for us on these mean streets. Talking about mean streets, that chicken was a bit small. Um, why were these guys so intent on kicking the sh shit out of you. There's got to be a better way of dealing with it than this. And, I mean, where are the cops? I, I, I think we're supposed to be police, aren't we? Isn't, aren't these like undercover police helping the mayor? No, that's final fight. I can't remember. I thought we were supposed to be police though. Which is why in the first game you get the police backup special weapon car. Can I use special weapons on this one? No, there's no special weapon on Streets of Rage 2. Uh, this is the same baddie as in the Mega Drive version. You'll probably recognise him if you squint hardly. Hard? Hard? If you squint. Squint your face. And you can kind of make out that he's the same guy. Although we haven't got the change of music. I love this change of music on the Mega Drive 1. <laughs> Nothing like that. But it set the mood, whereas this is just... Wham bam. Straight into it. That's the thing about Master System games, it doesn't ever quite feel as polished. It doesn't really feel like 
a proper game because you haven't got those cinematic elements. Publishers, developers just it didn't bother, they didn't have enough room on the cartridge, didn't have enough processing power. One of those things and things get left out and it, you know it feels good but it just feels like a more childlike experience which is why the Mega Drive was marketed as a yeah, big boy's toy. Although that's never been Nintendo's line, Nintendo have always gone for uh, fun and children's entertainment which they have you know, succeeded on immensely. Now they still make consoles, Sega sadly don't, I wish they did. They were so good, I mean the Dreamcast! Dreamcast was amazing, I love the Dreamcast, so underrated. But anyway, I'm getting off track, this is a Master System game and there's some bloke trying to stab me and these chairs look very small. That table, look how small that table is compared to the You couldn't even fit one plate on there. Table for one, yes that's all we've got. Hey, I've got you, sucker. Take some punches to your face! Oh, yeah! Oh, I've just finished playing Mortal Kombat from my quick play on Wednesday. So I'm still in the fighting mode. I wish Final Fight was on the Master System. But it's not. Hey ho. I wonder what those, um. Plaques say on the wall in the background. Are they, are they are they windows? Are they lots of certificates? Shittest pub in the world? Who can honestly tell? Look at that pool table. Looks spectacular. I'm not I'm not really focusing on the the main fighting here. I'm looking at the backgrounds. I should probably try and focus on what I'm doing. Yeah. So this game is not not bad. It's, not, it's okay. I don't think it's as good as the original Master System conversion. But it's an alright attempt. Just one of those, yeah, I'll play it. If it was two player, I think you could have a lot of fun with it. Unfortunately, one player, I don't think it's one of the games you'd go back to a lot. Yeah, it's just, you, you get a certain amount out of it. You'd probably play through it once and then not bother replaying it. But hey, this is a quick play and I shall not be playing it for long. In fact, I might stop when I get to the exit of this God damn awful pub bar. Oh, they're so nippy. They're like little rats running about. Come on, Blaze. Why am I Blaze? Oh, I selected a new character on, on when I continued. I see. Is it like Final Fight that you have to pick one of the existing characters? I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. I might just not bother playing a, yeah this hasn't got me quite as hooked as Mortal Kombat did the other day it's certainly nowhere in playability stakes as Mega Drive uh, or Final Fight on the Mega CD uh, I love that game I can't even remember this coming out when I had the Master System I I didn't even know it existed until I was looking on Amazon one day I was like what a, a Master System conversion Streets of Rage must be having some sort of giraffe. Apparently not. Although once you get into the gameplay, it is quite laughable. Alright, I'll kick you in the face. Los Logos kick your ass! Los Logos kick your face! Los Logos kick your balls into outer space! Ten points if you can name the film. Ah, this is why the whip girls! Have you got a whip? Whip me! What kind of a whip was that? That's the worst whip animation I've ever seen! It doesn't even... It looks like it glides out like a conveyor belt. So if I... Oh, you can select the player. Okay, let's try skate. And then we'll... Go and do something far more entertaining like... Clean the cat litter tray. I, a skate is terrible. He is absolutely terrible. I know he's not the best in the Mega Drive version, but he is disgustingly bad in this one. Come on, he's got skates on. Surely this, if you did a kick with skates on, that would destroy someone's face. And it would destroy their ankle if you met mid-kick. The skates would clearly win. How is she? I suppose she's got high heel boots. 
Reminds me of that scene in Robocop 2 where that woman stamps on the bloke's ah, face at the start. Ah, I can't even think about it. Horrific. Oh, oh this is terrible. <laughs> Just kick her. Right, she's dead. Thank God for that. Oh, this game has got increasingly worse as I've played it. I didn't mind it to start with, but now it's just getting quite repetitive. There's not much fun in the beating because there's not really any sound effects, is there? So you're not you're not really getting the oomph from the satisfaction is just not there. Why are there no sound effects? It's not We'll take care of you and then we'll just get out of here. Or maybe not. Barbin. Come on, Barbin. Do you want a Barbin biscuit? What's your friend called? Custard Crumb? <laughs> oh, that's the end of this game. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.